everybody, this is Tehumahu. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today, I've got behind me here a little pergola farm. And I would like to show you how to build this little pergola. You might be like, well, why do I need that? Um, well, you don't, but it is aesthetically kind of pleasing. It's nice to look at, and um, it fits well. It fits well into your little home, like if you have a little home here and you step out of your base and it's nice to just come over here and view all the little garden stuff growing but what's what's even better is sometimes you just don't need that much vegetables unless you're trading with villagers there's there's really almost zero need for a ton of the stuff going on so as a beginning farm this works really good you can come up here and pick your berries then you can switch to this side and you can go and harvest your melons and your pumpkins and everything looks neat and nice then down here you've got your other vegetables that you need for um, your regular stuff and all of them are planted in rows to take advantage of the, um, the faster growing state then we have our um, vines here that can be harvested and you have a little bit of of this um sugarcane growing there's actually this is a this is a block down here that is flooded out so that's um that's actually a um, block of water in there it's just a flooded uh half slab taking advantage of the new um, 1.14 half slabs and you can you can easily set up a giant farm for these if you wanted to but if you just needed a minimum amount of vegetables and food you would have this and this would this would produce plenty for you and if you really wanted you could go down here and go further down and you could build yourself a nice little farm for um, mushrooms or anything else so let's get started on this build okay first i'm going to take this and we're going to go ahead and build the thing. Let's see. Let's just build it a block away from that. And it is one, two. I believe it's a total of seven high. So this is four right here. Four and then five with the cap. And then it goes all the way across to 11. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then you'll have four down. And that should be the same size. Yes, it is. And it's seven across. So one, two, three, five, six. And then the seventh one is going to come this way. So we'll put that here, knock that out, and come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then this will be the seventh one. Just like that. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So this is a great starter type of um a farm for anybody when they're just beginning and they don't have a lot of crops or a need for a lot of crops this can really be aesthetically pleasing and really just it's a nice thing to have it's pretty great um, we'll take some grass blocks we'll come up here and we'll start right there This is a nice way to organize. It's um, it looks good. It's um, a nice little gardening feature for your house, and also it can just be decoration or and or storage, so that when you have other big farms and say you're moving and maybe your farms got blasted or blown up by a creeper, that this can just be the extra farm that you have that allows you to do what you need and get the things you need. Okay, so we're going to go here, and this is a spruce trap door. Of course, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. And this just gives it a nice look. Now, if you can't get these jungle wood, 
you can use any kind of wood, but jungle wood can allow you to grow these uh, cocoa beans here. So that's, what's, that's what makes it nice to have. It's just an, another extra thing, another extra food that you can grow. And it's also brown dye. But if you don't have jungle wood and you don't have access to it, I'm guessing you probably don't have access to any of the um, cocoa beans either. <laughs> Stand those all up. Now this goes in and out four. So one, two, three, four, one. Boom. And that should be the center place where we put our water. Now this has been my favorite design for years of playing Minecraft. We want a block missing right out from here and then just put some water there, it'll fall right in, and that'll also not only hydrate the top, but the bottom. Now for our pumpkins and our melons, what we're gonna want to do is, uh-oh, did I do this wrong? I did this wrong. One, three, four, I totally did this wrong. So you could actually go out wider with this if you really wanted to, but this just has a nice look as, you know, just, what you would look for in a pergola. So all of these will hydrate now. We're gonna keep it on the inside. Right. And for the melons and pumpkins, we just want to do four on either side. So our berries are going to go out here, and then the pumpkins will all come in here. Just like that. So to prevent the pumpkins from growing in here, I've placed a lantern on either side and also a potted plant. The lanterns will help the pumpkins grow at night and the potted plant just looks nice. It's just, oops, <laughs> it's just decoration. Oh, grabbed a flower. Did you know you could plant, um, put flower pots on the sides of things? I did not. I think it looks great. Oh man, did I miss it again? Uh -huh. It will not give me that. Okay, great. So, flower pot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not those anymore. So, let's go ahead and put the flower pot in place. I just had one over here. Um, oops, I didn't get those all in. I'm not gonna place those, we'll just have those. I kinda wish they touched, at least. That would be nice, but um, they kinda float. So you just put them on the sides just like that. And unfortunately they float. We're just gonna put whatever flowers in here. And the one up top, we're going to put a little tree in. Yep. Um, uh, oh, yeah, here it is, that sapling. That's right. Now, these little blocks here will prevent the pumpkin and the melon. from growing kind of wonky and all over the place. So we want our pumpkins all on this side. And then our melons all on this side. And then we want our berry bushes. Whoops, that was smart, okay. All right, here we go. 
Can you tell I don't play in creative that much? <laughs> I just, I'm not really that good at it. <laughs> All right, for here, here we can just plant whatever you like. I mean, if you want it all wheat, you can have it all wheat. You can just do whatever you like down here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a mixture. So we want, we, well, let's put our wheat in first. So seeds, you're going to need wheat the most usually when you play in survival. So we're going to put those on the sides. If you plant things in rows, whoops, they grow much faster than the other way. All right, we're going to put in potato. Potato. I can't spell either today. I'm like really doing good, aren't I? Okay. Planting to the side is often a lot easier. And then we're going to get carrots. There we go. And na -na -na -na. this one. There we go. And we're gonna just put beets in. I know nobody uses beets um, unless you just have to like fulfill some kind of achievement. But we're gonna put them in for the heck of it. Otherwise, you could just put wheat in here and fill that in. So that's looking pretty good. Let's put in some cocoa beans. So we can get a brown dye and make some cookies. Now, depending on how many you want, you can put cocoa beans anywhere on this. Like you could, you could put them here. You know, you can even put them on the face of this. Uh, there's a lot of different places you can put, but for the sake of this, we're just going to make it aesthetic. And you know, you, you never end up needing that many cocoa beans. So I'm just going to put them here. I mean, that's going to supply you with a ton of cocoa right there. So after that, let's see what we do. Um, let's put in the water blocks. So we want one here, one here, one here. And you could put another one on this side, but I opted to put a composter and to put these um, barrels in so that you have a place for storage. So let's get one of those. Got a mossy cobblestone slab that looks nice, like right here. Let's make sure it's on the top. This keeps you from falling in, plus it keeps the water there so that your um, cane, your sugar cane won't pop off. And you can still get enough sugar for spells and, I mean, potions and such spells. <laughs> So there you got that. Since we got a barrel over there, I'm going to go ahead and put one here. There we go. There we go. Get rid of that. And now that's pretty much everything. Yeah, they're starting to grow in there. See? Looks nice. The only thing we have left is... The vines now what's really cool about these vines I mean you can plaster them all over the place but what's really cool is in here normally putting in a vine like that or putting something there would take up this entire block because it's a block but with vines for some reason you can put two in which makes it really great to harvest tons of vines if you need it for building mossy cobble or whatever you happen to want and it just adds such a nice look to the whole thing that it's just worth doing I always like a touch of vine on my builds Creepy sounds, creepy cave sounds. Okay, so the thing with the ladder, you can add a ladder in if you like, and um, you can climb up it, or you can just have a section of vines that you never 
clip off with your clippers and that will allow you to go up either way so you can have the ladder or you cannot have the ladder and what's great about the berry bushes is they grow right away look at that they're they're already ready you're already ready to eat so um that'll be like early game you'll have food and then later game you'll have much more crops once they all grow in so after a while all your vines will grow in it'll look very nice and that's your pergola a really great addition to your house a wonderful addition to your base and you can make you know make a chain of these if you wanted to even with a little path down the middle to make it really nice and it could kind of meander this way and that and make it look good as part of your estate even if you don't need to harvest it well i hope you enjoyed this um that was a little quick how to on how to make a mini garden from a pergola um thanks for tuning in to humu out <laughs>